this is not believable. Do not have any training in Reynolds whatsoever. That's what you're saying. Not that's the basis of the decision that the, the inspector has. I, I understand the point, and I understand what you guys have made yourself very clear. I do think we're entitled to make a legal argument. I, I propose a way to do it um, that, that removes the notice issue. Um, I understand uh, what the feeling is. I, I've also pointed out that we need to work right in terms of these books. So I would request that. I don't think there's anything else we can do more at this point. As far as Mr. Ridden's point is concerned, uh, if the building inspector is willing to redraw that with town council, I would be in support of that. Uh, so we have a better definition as far as what the cease and desist, given the testimony this evening, covers. But that's uh, different than opening it up for further items. Relative to the definitions that are in our cease and desist book. Correct. Without the participation of Mr. Weir, the ability of Mr. Weir to make further arguments. To craft the order without an open meeting. Yes. I, I wouldn't think that we would be able to craft the order without an open meeting. I think that the order would, unless I'm wrong as far as town council is concerned, I, I think the order would be crafted between town council and the building inspector. Uh, the order would be provided for us and we would stand behind that order and we would be. Uh, Provided to the petitioner. Provided to the petitioner as the final sign of the order or in the order to which is attached the documents of this account? I, I would think dependent. I would think you'd be able to appeal the order. Well, appeal the order to the court. I'm trying to figure out whether our process is ending here tonight or whether we're coming back to another zoning board meeting in which we further debate the time that's before. I'm just not trying to argue with you. May I respond? I, well, can I give oh, sure. Absolutely. I would think they'd be able to come back before us as far as the order is concerned. Not to revisit to revisit the order itself as opposed to revisiting the original order. They can further appeal to well, I think we're continuing. I believe we would be continuing the matter to next week, to next month. I believe the order will be crafted, this is how I'm saying it, the order will be crafted by town council and the building inspector. Our matter is being continued to next month as far as the order is concerned. And what, what is open to discussion in the next month by the time that's over? I, I believe it would be. Okay. Unless town council. No, that's fine. Okay. So I have a question for the board. I, I don't know if we can resolve it today unless we, um, from my point of view, uh, I, I believe it would be a haphazard manner if we did, in fact, start recrafting the order as we sit here today in terms of putting definitions in it and limitations in it um, without town council and the building inspector looking at it. So, John, I have a question for the board. How are you, how are you, gonna, how are you gonna decide on his rental if you're gonna continue us to next month? Mr. Stadler has a rental next month uh, in a week. How is the board going to address that? I believe the chairman spoke, spoke as to that a moment ago in terms of almost like any other continuance that we've done. In terms of almost any other continuance that we've done, although this is a, a different situation because it was cease and desist. Um, but I, I think we're in the, uh, I think the, I, I think the rental that is upcoming would be able, as a matter of course, um, since the building inspector has uh, chosen to continue it until our, our hearing, we continue to our next hearing, and they would be able to rent it at their own peril. Okay, my understanding is that. They're curious as to when you took was looking. Yeah, and again, I don't 
think it's that germane. What we're talking about is the legal ramifications that we have to find against or for the petition. And the current situation is there's a cease and desist order which is stayed by the booking inspector. So it's that's probably. Well, I appreciate it, but as I said in the beginning, what we're bound by is the laws and the personal aspect because of it, not the main. Right, you're absolutely right. We can't make a decision tonight because we don't have a legal basis to do so. So we're going to do that in the proper way and take care of it so there is less potential for liability to the town, continuing a situation that's obviously been going on for six or nine months and just came up because of the unfortunate situation that rose recently. So, you know, folks that are in the neighborhood, absent of a deed restriction, which we don't know about, or any homeowners association, which further restricts activities in that area, you're all entitled to have parties, you're all entitled to have guests, you can have your in-laws stay over, have a cookout, all that sort of stuff. So there is no basis for us until we find the right language supported here by a legal counsel to determine it in a definitive way, which the board is suggesting we're continuing as we do many items that are contentious and difficult to resolve because we're not going to sit here and wordsmith something that was prepared by the two folks sitting at the end at the request of apparently a selectman to do a cease and desist order. So we're trying to clean up what the improprieties are and some of the definitions here that don't seem to apply. So what we do have is more likely to stick, okay? And I'm gonna go back to my first comment of the evening where um, I don't wanna look at this in terms of a response to a tragedy. It's a response to a zoning issue. Just as somebody um, using a property as they're not supposed to, as a multifamily dwelling in a single family residence, as a uh, uh, accessory use when they're not supposed to be having an accessory use. I understand it was a tragedy, but I'm also trying to look at it in terms of dealing with the zoning issue and the use of the current deal. Well, I'm Okay, so, well, you know, you should go back to this thing. We should restate what we're going to do. The petitioners asked for continuance. We'll vote on that. We'll <coughs> March. I would grant the petitioners motion for a continuance for one month. And in the interim, um, our billing inspector, as well as our town council, will craft a more definitive cease and desist order, um, which will specifically define what is being ceased and desisted, um, as well as removing the uh, mention of a prohibition relative to the uh, advertisement of the property. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Grant the continuance to the next month as stated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we have no minutes to do on the agenda, so we'll be 